Hey guys, Richard here with Wing It Flight Sim, and remember this video? Hey Flight Sim fans, Richard here with Wing It Flight Sim, and in this video, we're going to show you how to set up multiple monitors in X-Plane so you can take your flight sim experience to the next level and go from this to this. All right, we are gonna talk about why to forget about the triple monitor setup in X-Plane, at least for now. You'll definitely wanna stick around to the end of the video to find out why the triple monitor may be okay later. But for now, we don't wanna use the triple monitor and we're gonna talk about why. And it's coming up right after the intro. All right, guys, we're back. And for several years, several years, I was trying to figure out why I was struggling to get a good frame rate on X-Plane 12. So I was really struggling because I was using an M1 Mac Studio upgraded with the highest specs that Apple allowed. And I was still struggling even with graphics settings set fairly far down and if you're running VATSIM, you have to at least have 20 frames per second or it'll kick you off the network. So I was struggling and struggling to figure out why I was getting such poor frame rates with X-Plane 12. And really, X-Plane 12 is not a very graphics intensive game. Plus, I was using an M1 Mac Studio, fully upgraded, and I was still struggling to get frame rate, good frame rate. And I'd turn the graphics settings down, I'd play with all the settings, and I'd have to really run pretty low settings. Low vegetation, low world objects density, uh, low rendering distance, and I still struggled to get 23, 24, 25 frames per second. So I went as far as to upgrade to the latest M3 Max Studio, and it helped a little bit, but not much. I still couldn't turn the graphics settings up much higher without going below 20 frames per second. And so I'm looking at, in X-Plane, on your settings, there's the left side settings and the right side settings, and uh, we'll show you that here. And the left side settings are more graphics intensive, and the right side settings are more CPU dependent. And what I found was it was the more CPU dependent settings that were really driving the frame rate up and down. So I really kind of got to thinking and I started thinking, well, do the monitors have anything to do with this? And we tried turning the monitor settings on the triple monitor setup down to 1080p just to see if it would help. Nothing. So the you would think that having less pixels would at least help the frame rate some but nothing it didn't affect it at all so then i decided let's go out and buy a single monitor and see if the triple monitor has anything to do with the frame rate and so i went out and bought an odyssey g9 a 57 inch odyssey g9 and it's a 4k monitor and got that all connected and lo and behold my frame rate skyrocketed and so now i've got my settings turned up all the way to the highest settings except at some of the largest airports and then i have to tweak it a little bit but i still have pretty high settings and the frame rate is outstanding and what we found out is in x-plane X-Plane only allows you to run two CPU cores. So every time you add a screen, so let's say I was getting 60 frames per second with one monitor, add a screen, you add the workload, but no more workers, and it cuts it down to 40 frames, add a third screen, and it cuts it down to 20 frames per second. Because X-Plane only runs two cores, two CPU cores. 
That is the answer. So if you're running X-Plane and you're running a triple monitor setup, you're gonna struggle with frame rate. But there is actually good news on the horizon. At Flight Sim Expo this year, 2025, X-Plane announced that the X-Plane 12.3 update will allow for more CPU core usage. So that should hopefully help, but for now, that's the reason you're struggling if you're using a triple monitor setup with X-Plane. Microsoft Flight Simulator runs fine with triple monitor setups because Microsoft Flight Simulator allows you to use uh, multiple CPU cores. But if you're struggling to figure out why in X-Plane, if you're using a triple monitor setup, why your frame rate is not very good at all, that is why. And then I'm gonna put a link to a video um, that explains in a whole lot of detail why this is happening. And there's a workaround for it, but it's a really, really complicated workaround that may or may not even work. So wait for the 12.3 update and hopefully the 12.3 X-Plane update will allow for multiple CPU core usage and really alleviate this problem. Well, that's it for this one. I'm Richard. Thanks so much for watching. This is Wing It Flight Sim. And until the next one, we'll catch you on the flip side. We're out. Something fell off. Uh-oh. <laughs>